Um, babe, you've been outvoted. It's Feather Shark. Uh, I'm sorry. And I really am because I didn't actually want to try Feather Shark this time. Uh, but what are we going to do? It's the, the crowd has spoken. Um, Feather Shark is an Imperial India Pale Ale. IPAs are wearing a little thin with me these days because they're just so ubiquitous. But, um, but this is not an IPA. This is an Imperial IPA. Holy shit, it's like the color of... Pond scum. Pus. Yeah. I'm not thrilled with it. I don't like the look. I don't like the look of it. It's very hazy. It's milky. Um, there's a lovely SU logo for you. Yep. Looks like. No, it's got a vaguely orange coloration to it, but honestly, it's it's just yellow enough, and just. There's a touch of, of green in the foam that ju it really does look, it looks unpleasant. Um, I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt, though. Would you like to know why? Because this is a beverage I acquired at Branching Out Bottle Shop, <laughs> where, where they don't do any shit uh, uh, unless it's the good shit. So, oh, I, I, no, actually, they have, they have sold me a couple of beers that I have thought were genuinely repulsive. But they were at least interesting. And that is, uh, that's all I asked them for. And let's go ahead and have a sniff. Hmm. Yeah, it sure smells like an IPA. It's citrusy, it's hoppy, it's floral. Uh-huh. Feather Shark, I feel like I'm not giving you a fair shake. I'm, I'm going into this half-heartedly because I don't want an IPA. You know what? Let's reinvest. Feather Shark with its absolutely gorgeous can art. Let's give it a little credit for that, shall we? This is Fifth Hammer Feather Shark, which is an excellent name for a swan because they are just monsters. They just, it's like a stormy sky with a crazed sea behind it. And it's just got a mad look in its eye. Like it is absolutely ready to chew you down. So well, I'm going to give these guys a fair shaking and we're going to see what it what it tastes like, okay? But yeah, citrusy and hoppy on the nose. Of course. Yeah. Oh, wait, oh. Okay. Okay. Hang on a moment. Because I was about to say, yeah, that's an IPA. But there's something else going on in there. Something a little fancier. And it's fitting this color. I'm getting pineapple in here. Along with that uh, uh, hoppy, citrusy uh, uh, flavor, I'm getting pineapple-y flavor. This, we're now into... We're in the tropics. It is, it's actually, okay. Uh, you've done it. You've done it. I it was legitimately not interested in drinking an IPA today. And you have provided me with an IPA that is interesting enough for me to drink. Um, it still has a bitter edge that all IPAs do. It still has um, the hoppy, uh, slightly piney, slightly... I don't know, it, it, it sometimes just feels like you're eating the Adirondacks uh, in one go, you know. But uh, but then there's this pineapple thing going on in there, which is actually kind of dope. It's so hazy. And it's like thick as orange juice on the palate. Foamy, fizzy, nice zing. Yeah. Yeah, that's mighty fine. That's a, that's a good beverage. Uh, fifth Hammer. I think we, we had one of theirs before. So I think that they, they might be one that I want to look into a little bit more. Because they, they definitely do seem to have some kind of cool stuff. Oh boy. At 8.8% .8 alcohol by volume. This is a... Uh, it's a shark with teeth. I'll give it that. I, one of the things that I want to talk about that I don't usually talk about with beers is what happens as you drink the beer. 
how does it build up on you? For instance, the peanut butter Hefeweizen, I thought was an interesting taste off the bat. And I said that it's the, the banana element of it does not overstay its welcome until I drank a lot of it. And then I was like, yeah, this is definitely overstayed its welcome. So does the, is this a drink that you can take down the whole thing and you're enjoying it as much from the beginning as you are at the end? And I, I think that's, for me, that's difficult with an IPA because the bitterness seems to mount with each sip. It's being counterbalanced in this case by some of the, the fruity elements, and especially that, that pineapple zip that's in there. And I wonder if I'm just hallucinating a pineapple zip, uh, or, or if that's something that other people have said. I, I would be curious to read some of the reviews. Or maybe I'll just see if there's a description on the can. I think they're, have they made any claims about their... Oh, you know what? The hell with it. I'll hop in here. I'll hop on their website. And I'll find out how they describe Fifth Hammer. Fifth Hammer Feather Shark. All right. Beer Advocate. I'm reading it over here. Pour is a very hazy, approaching, murky, pale, golden yellow in color with moderate amounts of active, visible carbonation rising along the edges of the glass. Uh, moderate aromas of juicy tropical pineapple, uh, tropical mango, citrus, grapefruit, hops, uh, over the top. Let's see, uh, uh, pours a downright turgid yellow straw color with an orange hue. Mo moderate head dissipates rather quickly. Found that. Aroma opens with tropical fruit, including ma mango, papaya, and... Pineapple. Okay, so I'm not the only person who's tasting pineapple in this drink. It is 100%. Uh, uh, well, it's not 100% pineapple-y. It's 100% true that it is at least 1% pineapple-y. Uh, I can verify that uh, with reviews by other people, the top two reviews by other people uh, on Beer Advocate saying pineapple. I also love pineapple. I also love coconut. Uh, I've been, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, uh, enchanted by what they've done here. Usually what I get when I go with tropical fruits, citrus fruits, is grapefruit, oranges, lemons, maybe possibly limes, but rarely. It's mostly, it's mostly grapefruit or orange that I get when I get citrusy beverages. And this definitely has the, the, the consistency and the coloration of a glass of orange juice. But what I was surprised by was the pineapple. And I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm genuinely thrilled. Well done. Thank you, Fifth Hammer, for a little surprise. I was expecting IPA again. And what I got was Gippy IPA. I, it was a nice little surprise there. I also want you to know I'm sorry about that yippy IPA joke. I, um, it sounded great in my head, and now I regret that it is, uh, well, on the record. So, anyway, uh, back to the game. Oh, and uh, one last thing. Uh, in, in terms of the does this hold up over the course of drinking an entire glass of it, I'm now halfway through it, and I'm still enjoying it. I will let you know on the other end, but I got a sneaking suspicion this one's going to go down smooth all the way. <laughs> this is the conclusion of my review of Feather Shark. Um, I was not looking for an IPA today. I went into this thing skeptical and actually a little bit disappointed that we didn't choose something else from my beer fridge. And instead, I was surprised... And delighted. This Fifth Hammer Feather Shark is delicious from start to finish. I didn't want an IPA. It's not an IPA. It's an Imperial IPA, so it's quite potent. Uh, but I didn't want an IPA. I wanted a different flavor profile. My viewers voted for an IPA. So I said, ah, the hell with it. I'm going to drink this IPA. And I liked it all the way through. So well done, Fifth Hammer well done, Feather Shark.